U.S. and South Korea to launch military exercise next week to counter North Korean threat. The United States and South Korea are set to begin their annual springtime military exercise, the Freedom Shield 2024, next week. This exercise, which will run from March 4 to 14, will focus on countering North Korea's growing nuclear threat through a combination of computer-simulated and field-based training, Colonel Lee Sung-joon, spokesman for South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, stated that this year's exercise will include 48 joint field drills, nearly double last year's. These drills will involve activities such as air assault, tactical lift fire, and bombing exercises, all aimed at neutralizing the North Korean nuclear threat. U.S. And South Korea soldiers, credits, Irish Examiner. The heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula, exacerbated by North Korea's recent weapons tests and hostile rhetoric toward South Korea, underscore the importance of these joint military drills. The United States and South Korea have increased their military cooperation in response to these provocations, including the deployment of U.S. assets to the region. U.S. Forces Korea spokesman Colonel Isaac Taylor emphasized that the Freedom Shield exercise is defensive in nature and is conducted for training and deterrence purposes. He noted that the U.S. and South Korea have been transparent about their plans for the drills, highlighting their commitment to security and stability on the peninsula. In addition to U.S. and South Korean forces, personnel from 11 other United Nations command member countries will participate in the exercise. These countries include Australia, Belgium, Britain, Canada, Colombia, France, Greece, Italy, New Zealand, the Philippines, and Thailand. The Neutral Nations Supervisory Commission will also observe the drills to ensure compliance with the terms of the armistice agreement that halted the Korean War.